Herpes simplex virus infection is a commonly known infection and people typically associate it with either cold sores virus or a genital herpes virus. So it used to be in the past that people would think that herpes simplex type 1 is a purely a cold source virus and herpes simplex type 2 is a genital herpes virus and would separate the two. But with time now we have understood that there is quite a bit of overlap between herpes simplex type 1 and type 2. So if somebody uh, gets the blood test done or gets the, uh, the direct test done for the herpes virus, um, it is possible that even if they have herpes simplex 1, that is uh, not necessarily linked with the cold sores. Or if they have herpes 2, it's not necessarily linked just with the genital herpes. So they may show an overlap in the antibodies between the two types of viruses. In other words, the distinction between the type 1 and the type 2 of herpes simplex virus is lost. Um, and uh, we can treat appropriately according to the symptoms of the patient. So uh, the treatment needs to be based upon the symptoms, not necessarily what type of the virus is there. And essentially the treatment is the same for two types of viruses. Um, the next thing is that although there is quite a bit of stigma attached with the herpes simplex virus and nobody wants to know or not wants to find out that they have a herpes infection, but the reality of the matter is that about 50 to 70 percent of our population is infected with the virus. It's just a virus that happens to transmit very rapidly among individuals. So, and that transmission doesn't necessarily happen as a result of sexual intercourse or sexual interaction. It can happen with the regular interactions, um, just like the cold source virus spreads. So that stigma needs to be taken away and treatment needs to be focused on the symptoms of the patient because um, the, the, this is just another one of many, many different viruses that can uh, infect and affect uh, uh, people's health. Thank you.